When you walk past a construction site, you probably notice the bright yellow, white, blue, green, or even red hard hats scattered among workers. They might look like just a rainbow of safety gear, but there's actually a fascinating system behind those colors. One that silently communicates a lot about who's who on the site. Today, we're diving deep into what those hard hat colors really mean, where the tradition came from, and why these helmets are far more than just protection. They're a language of hierarchy, responsibility, and expertise. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the basics. Hard hats are not just pieces of plastic sitting on workers' heads. They're a vital part of construction safety. Their main job is to protect against falling objects, electrical hazards, and accidental bumps. Hazards that can cause serious injury or even death. The modern hard hat can trace its roots back to the early 20th century, inspired by military helmets used in World War I. Edward W. Bullard, an American inventor, took inspiration from the steel military helmet and created the first industrial hard hat around 1919. His company introduced what was known as the hard-boiled hat, made from steamed canvas, glue, and black paint, a revolutionary step forward in worker safety. As industrial projects grew larger and more complex, especially during the construction of monumental structures like the Hoover Dam and the Golden Gate Bridge in the 1930s, hard hats became standard issue. And with that, color coding slowly emerged. At first, it wasn't formalized. Different sites used different systems, but over time, color codes became a silent, universal language that allowed workers to recognize roles and responsibilities at a glance. So, what do these colors actually mean? Let's break it down. The most common color, white, is usually worn by managers, engineers, architects, supervisors, and anyone in a position of authority. If you see someone walking around the site with a clipboard and a white helmet, they're likely overseeing operations, ensuring safety protocols are followed, or inspecting progress. White symbolizes leadership and cleanliness, fitting for those tasked with managing the chaos of a worksite. Next up is yellow, the most iconic color for construction workers. Yellow hard hats are worn by general laborers, operators, and earth-moving crews, the people who form the backbone of the operation. The bright yellow color isn't just for show, it's highly visible in various weather conditions, making it easy to spot workers even from a distance. Then there's blue, often worn by technical workers, electricians, and carpenters. Blue can also indicate supervisors in training or safety officers. It's a color associated with calmness and precision, which fits perfectly for those who handle delicate or specialized work, like wiring or measurements that require extra attention to detail. Green helmets usually belong to safety officers or environmental specialists. The color green is universally linked to health and safety. Think of first aid signs, emergency exits, or hospital logos. On a job site, someone wearing a green hat ensures that safety standards are maintained and that the environment around the construction zone is being protected. In some cases, green helmets can also mark new workers or trainees, people who are still learning the ropes and need to be easily identified by others. Red hard hats are typically used by firefighters, emergency personnel, or those responsible for fire safety and rescue operations. Red is a natural attention grabber. It signals urgency and danger. In emergencies, a red helmet helps everyone know who's in charge of handling critical situations. Orange is another interesting one. 
It's often worn by road crews, traffic marshals, or visitors who need to stand out clearly. Because orange is one of the most visible colors in the human spectrum, it's perfect for areas with heavy vehicle movement or poor visibility. Some sites also give orange helmets to workers involved in demolition or heavy machinery operations. Brown hard hats, though less common, are typically reserved for welders and workers involved in high heat applications. The darker color helps mask burn marks, soot, or dirt, and distinguishes those dealing with intense conditions from others on site. Lastly, gray or black helmets can vary depending on the company's rules. In some cases, gray is used for site visitors or inspectors. Black, on the other hand, is sometimes reserved for supervisors or senior managers, though some companies give black hard hats as a mark of experience or achievement. It's a more modern twist on the traditional color scheme, often used as a way to recognize veteran workers. But here's the thing. While these color meanings are widely recognized, they're not officially standardized across all industries or countries. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration in the United States, for example, doesn't mandate specific colors for specific roles. Instead, individual companies or contractors establish their own color coding systems, tailored to their operations. That's why on one site, a green hat might belong to a safety officer, while on another, it could identify a trainee. The key is consistency within each project. Everyone on the site needs to understand what each color represents to avoid confusion. Beyond color, hard hats themselves come in different classes that represent the type of protection they offer. Class G helmets protect against impact and low voltage electrical hazards. Class E helmets protect against higher voltage exposure. And Class C helmets focus on impact protection but offer no electrical resistance. These classifications are just as important as the color since they define what kind of danger the wearer is protected from. Interestingly, hard hat designs have evolved over time. Modern helmets are often made of high-density polyethylene or HDPE or advanced thermoplastics, making them lightweight but incredibly strong. Some come equipped with built-in visors, ear protection, or chin straps for better fit and safety. And now, in the digital age, smart helmets are becoming a reality, equipped with sensors that can detect impact, monitor worker fatigue, or even send alerts if someone enters a restricted zone. So, the next time you see a group of workers wearing different colored helmets, remember, it's not random. It's an organized system that keeps everyone safe and coordinated. The color of a hard hat can tell you who's leading, who's learning, who's protecting, and who's doing the heavy lifting. It's a small but powerful detail in the vast world of construction, where every precaution counts and communication can save lives. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.